Hi everybody, I'm out for a walk on this beautiful sunny day. I'm visiting an area that I don't usually come to a lot. Okay, I will admit, yes, it's a cemetery, but, but it's a really nice cemetery. Don't knock cemeteries. <laughs> A lot of them are actually very pleasant to walk in. I see other people walking in them, even riding bikes. But anyways, I just had a thought about uh, the Noah's Ark. Now, I know a lot of people like to uh, ridicule and make fun of Noah's Ark, that, you know, that, that it never happened, that it was never a real event, that it's just a stupid story for kids, you know, crap like that, but... I don't buy into all that. I believe it was a real event. I believe... I do believe that the remains of Noah's Ark could still very well be out there. We just don't know exactly where it is. I don't... I can't say myself for certain whether I believe that it's on... that the remains are on Mount Ararat. Is it called? Um, I don't think that's it, but anyways, um, I think it holds some valuable lessons for us. And a couple I can think of are the way that people were in Noah's time, you know, like just ridiculing him, making fun of him, told him he was wasting his time building the ark, just... You know, like, they took no note, they didn't want to take it seriously at all, and that's... And I see a parallel today. People are rejecting the Bible and religion more than ever, finding every which little way to rip it apart and discredit it. And less and less people are going to church, like, more than ever. Like, it's not just the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses who's attendance and member, meeting attendance and membership are severely declining. It's also the, a lot of other churches. So we see it all around. So that's how I can, um, that's how I relate to one parallel at least, you know, just as it was in Noah's day. So it's the same today. People don't see it. People don't see that as clearly right away. They would just say, Ah, uh, it's a coincidence. <laughs> and you know what? It's a good idea for another video. I want to make a good one about, um, just how people underestimate the devil. They really do. Of how deceptive and manipulative he can be and how he can really turn people away like they really do underestimate his power and how he gets people. It's not it's not through it's not through methods that are so easy to see. See we like to think that we're so smart a lot of people but you know what? The Bible also says or it was a TV show that reminded me of it too. I mean just Never mind that it was a TV show that reminded me of it. They made a really good point, and it was based off, like, really good quotes from, like, what people past and present to really have said that, you know, it's it's the nature of man to be, to be foolish, to think he knows everything, and to really rebel against God and religion. But I would add in my own words, I know, while, yeah, that's true, and at the same time, thinking that they're so smart and intelligent and that they've, you know, and that they nailed it, that they got it right, like, you know, that they've discovered, like, you know, the next big thing or whatever, like, <laughs> yeah, no, you know, you know what I mean, like, you know, that they got it, like, you know, hey, yeah, kind of like, too, like, people that lived in past centuries just just because just because they did they didn't have the technology that we do today like the internet you know doesn't mean they were just a bunch of idiots either like every generation and people that live throughout the centuries they're all smart and intelligent in their own ways 
So, but anyways, yep, that's um mainly what I wanted to say for this video, you know, like, like, like study your Bible, try to get a more broader, rounded understanding of the story of Noah and the Flood. Because it's not just a bunch of bullshit. It has a lot of very good lessons for us today that people don't often take to heart or realize right away. So, thank you for watching. P please subscribe and like or comment if you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.